ordered an aloe vera leaf. My last vlog, if you're following along, you saw me buy this. And you know if it's winter, all you have to do is look at my skin because it just gets super dry. I'm not a big home remedies person, but I've been so busy that getting an appointment at the spa Forget it. It's a lot about aloe vera gel and how it can help with dryness and clearing your skin. And I'm all for it. One leaf, you really get so much gel that um, I don't even know what to do with all this. I came up with a few things though of how to use this guy. First of all, I'm just gonna do a full routine. I'm gonna cut this baby up. I'm gonna moisturize with one piece. Sprinkle some organic sugar on another to help exfoliate with another piece and then I'll go ahead and moisturize. There's a toner you can make. I don't happen to have rose water on hand. Maybe I'll do that in the future, but that of course leaves me with a lot more gel left. I heard that this is great for helping grow lashes and eyebrows. So I have some castor oil this up with some gel um, put it in a little bottle and using a simple disposable mascara wand here I'm going to apply it to my lashes clean lashes and clean brows overnight and watch my lashes grow I'm not wearing lash extensions these days and uh, and this will help me look like I am well I'm all for it my lips also have been super dry. I haven't been using this little guy. This is a, a very mini beauty blender. Some of you might have it and it's to use for the inner corners of your eyes. Well, I thought it would be a great tool to scrub my lips. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I want some solid results. So I'm gonna use a little container here and make myself a little lip scrub using some aloe gel and sugar and have it ready for the next few days and i might even pack it and take it with me to china who knows but i'm eager to get going this is a good chance to talk about my favorite makeup remover love mac but i also love so many other brands but there's one product mac has that just doesn't compare to anything else and it's their face wipes they recently brought out their gentle, the pink packaging, the gentle version, and that's what I'm using today, and it absolutely removes everything. So I'm gonna wipe off my makeup, cleanse my face, and use a damp cloth to prepare my skin for this treatment. and it is pretty disgusting to feel. You could totally just put it on your skin directly, but um, another method that I have seen, cut up the leaves in half and go directly on your face. It feels a lot better and there's no disgusting, messy gel all over the place. Now this next piece is where I sprinkle the organic sugar onto, really you can use any sugar, but I happen to have uh, recently switched to this organic kind. So hopefully this will help scrub off all of the dry flakes that I see when I apply my makeup these days. Definitely feeling the sugar grains. Feels good. 
So sugar does melt into the gel. When you stop feeling the grains, you can have back into some more sugar and go in again. It does help even at the skin tone. So if you have areas that you want to neutralize and look a little bit more clear, it's a great way to go. From what I hear, this is my first time using it. Up my face and my lips, and I have to tell you, with doing the lip scrub, already any of the loose dry skin that was on my lips are gone. And I realized something other than building moisture in there and help with the dryness, I'm expecting this aloe if I use it over time, I'm expecting it to help with some unevenness on my lips. There is a story behind it that I have to tell you. In fact, it was a treatment I had on my lips years ago, the last time I went to China. Mm, Maybe when I'm bored one evening, I'll tell you from the hotel room when I get there. Lips have not felt this soft in so long. I'm going to use another piece now and similar to how I cleanse, I'm going to do the same thing uh, to moisturize the skin. The last moisturizing layer we can leave overnight and expect glowing skin in the morning. But I'm going to use this time now to make myself that lip scrub so I can continue using this over the course of the week. But I'm more excited about mixing the gel and the castor oil and then using my disposable mascara wand. I'll apply them to my lashes every night for the next little while and I should definitely see some growth. I'm going to use this container here. I don't want any access, so I'll brush that back into the bottle. And let's wave them in. Excited by my eyebrows also. I could definitely use some growth there. In the morning, if my face looks better than it did before this treatment, I'm so gonna put up this video. Hey, it's the next morning. I've applied my makeup and I can tell you that it went on so much smoother than lately. For one treatment, I'm seeing so much difference. I like to see the results at least a weekend. I've definitely taken care of some dry skin and dry lips. You saw me make those ice cubes, the cucumber and aloe ice cubes. Those are to minimize my pores and I'll show you that in an upcoming video. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe and comment below if you would try these. Thank you.